What's up, peeps? My name's here. Today we got a special device right here. An interesting one. This one here is from Geek Vape. It is called the Obelisk FC 120 watt kit. Two versions of this. One's gonna come with the Geek Vape Z tank, the Zeus. That's what it is. It's just the Zeus tank. It's nothing different for the exception, new coils. All right? And the Obelisk tank. So one, the Z tank is a top airflow. The Obelisk is a bottom airflow tank. Both use the same coils. Fast charging on this one here. And it charges fast. 15 minutes to charge this from a dead battery to a full battery. And yes, it does it. So let's dive down. Let me show you guys everything about this. What you get. We'll come back, vape on it. Then I'll give you guys all my thoughts on the Obelisk kit. And here's the sample packaging, the Obelisk FC 120 watt kit by Geek Vape comes in. And like I said, this is just sample packaging. This is not the retail over here. There's gonna be two versions of this kit. They're both gonna come with the same mod. One's gonna come with the Obelisk tank. The other one's gonna come with the Geek Vape Z tank. The Z tank is the Zeus tank. It's identical, just different coils. Now inside the packaging for the kit, you'll get a user manual, a type C to type C charging cable. Depending on which kit you get, you'll either get the Obelisk tank or the Z tank, also known as the Zeus tank. You'll get all your extras, the O-rings, the tool, extra coils in there, extra glass and so forth. Almost forgot, you also get this right here. This is the charging brick for the device. It's gonna come separate like that. I guess they did it this way for different countries, use different types of plugs you can see here this just goes like that clips right into place you do have a little release symbol there and here's a close-up of what's on this power supply unit and here's a look at both tanks like i said this is the z tank top airflow the obelisk tank bottom airflow fill port for this one here do one of these and slide all right it's got a little membrane you can see it's one of those it's got a locking system it won't open up on you, you just lift and pull. They did a good job with the way this functions. There's your drip tip A10 O-ring on the inside for both. For the Z tank, fill method, little core to turn opens up. There's your two openings there. Coil pre-installed for both tanks. It says here Geek Vape Z series. It's a 70 to 80 watt coil, Canthal 0.2 resistance. And the spare coil for both is this one here, 50 to 60 watt Canthal. 0.4 Geek Vape Z series coils. And for both tanks, when installing these coils, you're gonna see there's two little cutouts on both sides. That corresponds with the coil. You're gonna see it right there. And on this side right here. When installing this coil, you gotta make sure to drop it in. And you want those pieces, those little tabs to fall right inside those grooves like that. And you push down. And you can see right now it is seated in place perfectly oil almost perfect you got to turn that a little there you go now it's perfect and here is the obelisk mod 3700 milliamp hour built-in battery it is lithium ion battery it's not a lipo pack inside here branding on the side geek vape you do have a little shiny part there then a matte zinc alloy finish on that side geek vape on that side type c charge port over here on the bottom it does say obelisk fc 120 Obviously, it's a 120 watt device. Your platform is your 510. We're gonna do a little test here. Put on a 28 millimeter atomizer to see if there is overhang. And as you can see, you will have a slight overhang here and here. So up to a 26 millimeter without overhang. Fire button here, display there, up and down buttons there, a little symbol going on there. Now, press the fire button five times. One, two, three, four, five. It will power the device on. It'll say Geek Vape. Then you have your display. Now on the display, you can have power that you're in, your battery percentage, which will be those bars that are there, your wattage, resistance, amps, voltage, and puff counter. Now if I press the down button and fire button at the same time, you could do your display, you're dimming it, or you could make it brighter. If you press them at the same time, you lock the device. As you can see, I could still fire it but I can't change the wattage. Now, if I press the fire button three times, one, two, three, you'll see it's highlighted there. You can see I could go into TC mode, stainless steel, TCR, VPC, where you could do custom curves, bypass mode, and OTG. Now, let's say I press OTG. Now, if I grab Type-C cord, plug it in. Now I grab 
Let's say I grab the Wien X, plug that in, and you could see now what's going on here is, let's see, you could see it. I am charging the device. All right, so this also is a power bank to charge other devices. So now when charging it, I'll show you guys the differences between the charger that comes with this kit or a regular charger. Now, if I plug this in, all right, you're gonna see what happens here. Right now, it is super fast charging the mod. It's gonna do this for a little bit that you see here. And then you're gonna see what it's gonna do. Any second now, there you go. You can see the color, it's orange and it's fast charging. Now I'm gonna use just a regular charger inside here. So I'm gonna plug it in. And you're gonna see it goes into a different screen. It's not gonna show you, see it's not showing you what it showed you before. It's charging the mod. But any second now, it should go into a regular, there you go. You're gonna see it's green now. So obviously it's showing you that it's not getting its full fast potential of charging when you're using a regular charger. But it is compatible, like I said, with other chargers. If you don't wanna use that fast charger on here, you could use it to charge a laptop, for example, or a fast charging cell phone and so forth. And for size comparison, I'll just put it next to this here, the Aegis Pod Mod. This is the single 18650 version, so you get a basic idea between the two. And there you go, that was the Obelisk fast charging 120 watt device slash kit by Geek Vape. Let's go back up on top, let's vape on it, and I'll give you guys my thoughts. And there you have it. That was the up close of the Obelisk kits by Geek Vape. Mike, your thoughts, pros and cons. Okay, we'll start off with the tanks. I really do not have any complaints with these tanks. Just like the original, when I did the Zeus sub ohm tank review, I love the way it vaped. Very nice vape on it. Those super mesh coils are pretty good. Now, these new coils here, the tank's the same. Like I've been saying it a hundred times, tank's the same. But these new coils, they're pretty good. I have this coil right now at 68 watts, flavor's great on it. Now, depending on what style you like, if you're more into the bottom airflow cell tanks, obviously you're gonna go with the Obelisk tank. Same coils. If you like top airflow, that's your thing, you go with the Z tank. I'm using the Z tank because I like top airflow. All right, so let's have a couple of apes. I just burped while I was exhaling. <laughs> Sorry about that. But anyway, who cares? Whatever. It's a vape video. Steve, if you could edit that out. Most likely he won't because he don't like me. So anyway, you're going to get great flavor from these tanks. The coils are pretty good on here. Canthal coils, not bad. Now, people are like, we, we, whatever. We don't care about the tanks right now. We want to know about this mod. We want to know your thoughts, Mike, on this. Okay, now when it comes to cons with this, Number one, these outside panels, these shiny, they just, they just leave lots of fingerprints on. I kind of wish it was done a little bit different. Matte version, maybe like a two-tone style black, two-tone matte, two different shades would have been better in my opinion instead of this shiny fingerprint thingy that's going on there. Other than that, really the only thing, it's not of a complaint, it's more of a... Lithium ion batteries. If this was a LiPo, I know LiPos could take fast charging i'm not sure about these i think are either dual 18s 18650s or they're 18500s i'm not sure but it's a 3700 milliamp hour battery in here it's going to be a pro on that but i'm just worried on this is where we need someone like battery mooch to let us know if it's okay to charge a mod that with that fast of charging now some people are just not going to care and remember, this is where, this is what I'm getting at. It's an internal battery, fast charge. It would have been nice if you could swap the batteries out on here, but still you're putting such a fast charge on the batteries. I don't know if it's good or if it's bad. I don't have that kind of knowledge. Like I said, that's more for battery mooch, in my opinion. That's what I think. But anyway, the charger that it comes with is an awesome charger. I have the the Samsung Galaxy, the, the Galaxy 21 Ultra, and the Ultra could do up to 25 watt fast charging, if I'm not mistaken. I think it was 25 watts. But anyway, 
When I use a charger on there, a fast charger, my phone says fast charging. Or if I use a non-fast charging something, it just says charging. So it's either charging or fast charging. That's all I've ever seen a phone do. As soon as I plugged my phone into that charger, my phone said super fast charging and it just charged it up super quick. I've put that on iPads to charge, wow. So this is where, look, if you're interested in the mod, but you don't want to fast charge your mod, use a regular charger on your mod and take that fast charger and use it on your electronics. That's a great plug right there for super fast charging stuff. But anyway, I'm just, I'm drifting over there. Look, I like the whole idea, the whole concept. This thing charges quick. In 15 minutes, it's fully charged, which is awesome. It's gonna have to be a pro. Type C, yeah, pro. Fires right away, pro. Display is nice. I could see everything on there. It's nice and vibrant. It will have to be a pro. Could fit up to a 26 millimeter without overhang pro. What you get, the whole kit, everything. It's definitely a pro. All in all, you know what? This is an awesome kit. It's a nice device. It's small, compact, packs a punch, 120 watt, 3,700 milliamp hour battery, like I said before. But the only thing, like I said, is because it's lithium ion batteries in here, how long will they last? Will they degrade being charged that quick? Like I said, we need, we need your thoughts on this one, Battery Mooch. So there you go. That was the Obelisk FC kit by Geekvape. In the description below, I will have links to this. I'm not allowed. It's that YouTube policy. I will have links to advocacy and my personal links down below. As always, that's it. I'm done. Thank you. Remember, be safe and keep on vaping.